Hi guys, it's Mousetom here, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the latest stuff that we've got to show on Anthem. So, as you, as some of you will be aware, I've been playing the Anthem beta all weekend and have been having a great time with it. However, there have been some images released lately that's given us a little bit of a, a step back toward the game and the way that it's going to go in the future. Now, a lot of the things I liked about Anthem were the gameplay, the actual uh, flying around. It was, it, it, it felt like a very complete version of Destiny and Warframe put together, and that that's something that you know you don't get that often. However, the main problem that's going to come in the future is the amount of content. And one of the things that kills big games like this when they've got a really cool setting is that and really kind of detailed world is they just can't pump out content enough to keep people interested. And especially in a game like Anthem, um, where they've said there aren't going to be any paid expansions to the game, this is going to be hard for them to support. So they're going to have to make money somewhere else, which is where we come on to microtransactions. Now, a lot of people have very, very kind of bad views on microtransactions, and it's very easy to see why. Why should you have to pay for extra things in a game when you've already spent a lot on the game itself? Free to play games, fair enough, they're going to want to make some money. They're going to try and sell you cosmetics and things, and because you haven't paid for the game, it doesn't feel that bad. But when it's a game like Anthem or a game like Destiny, where you've actually paid already for the game, Having to unlock something that looks cool, but having to pay an extra, what, £10, $10, whatever the uh, currency you use, to do it, feels a little bit cheap from the developers. Um, I can see it as being better in Anthem than it is in Destiny, because at least then they've said there aren't going to be any other kind of expansions to the game. You're not going to have to pay for a season pass or an expansion every so often. So therefore actually buying the cosmetics is the only way they're going to be able to continuously make money and support the game. Which is cool, yeah, I can get on board with that. But, from the image that was released, it doesn't look like that's going to be entirely palatable. Because the cosmetics that were shown in this image, and they were as epic cosmetics, didn't really look that epic. They didn't really look that different from the normal stuff in the game. Which begs the question, wh why would anybody buy them? I if it's not looking that different, they already have a really great customization tool, which means you can pretty much look how you want anyway. People aren't going to buy these cosmetics. Which, okay, uh, that's one problem. The other problem is, even if people did like the look of them, and thought, oh, that looks pretty cool. No, not, not quite epic, but you know, I like the look of that, I'll spend a couple of quid on that. Like, that's not going to happen, because the pricing on these uh, epic armor packs is 2,000 shards. Now, they use shards to try and confuse you, so, because it's not real money. But 2,000 shards, if you were to buy, would cost you around $20, or put just a little over £15. Although, because it's a computer game, I'm guessing it's actually going to be £20 because they don't seem to understand what an exchange rate is. So, £20 for a not very good skin. I don't think many people are going to be buying that. Which raises questions as to how they're actually going to support the game going forward. One, this is a kick in the teeth for everyone who actually wants some cool cosmetics or would be willing to buy them because it doesn't look like they've actually got many ideas about what to do with it and also even if they when they do it's going to be far too expensive so you're not going to be wanting to buy it and if they don't have a consistent income then their support for the game is going to trail off take it i mean you can think about it how you will but if a company's not making money on a game the support for it is go isn't going to be there they're not going to want to release expansions because they're just going to be sinking more money into something which isn't working for them so it is quite a big worry for me. I really, really enjoy the concept of this game. I really enjoy playing it and I had a lot of fun on the beta, but if they can't work out how to sell skins to people, how to do, manage microtransactions in a way that, yes, we're never gonna entirely like them, but they can make it so we actually do buy them. I find 
some free to play games have a really good system for this, like Warframe, like League of Legends, like Fortnite. They've all done really well because they don't actually cost that much to get the cosmetics. But for a pay to pay to play game with really expensive cosmetics, that doesn't seem like it's going to work. Anyway, I've been talking about this for long enough. Let us know your ideas on it in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time.